Hello everyone, this is Pausta Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. I also want to remind you that some of our video courses are already available. Buy them if you haven't done it yet, we would really appreciate your support. Today we are going to show you how to make a bias binding and different techniques for edging garments with them. There are several ways to make a bias binding. For example, you can use a piece of fabric left from sewing a garment. In our case, it's a piece of cambric. It's very convenient to work with it. How to make a bias binding if you can't make a triangular of the fabric? Measure the same distance from the corner, both on the lengthwise and the crosswise grains. Fifteen centimeters, for example. And then draw a line to connect these points. This line is drawn at the angle of 45 degrees. Remember that bias binding must be made at the angle of 45 degrees. This is the only way to make it accurately. The ruler is three centimeters wide, so the binding is going to be three centimeters wide as well. If you have such ruler, you can put it on the corner and draw a line this way. I'm going to draw several lines here. Sometimes you need to edge a lot of details in the garment with the bias binding. In this case, you will have to make a lot of it. Next, I'll cut the three stripes, the longer ones, and I'll show you how to stitch them together. Be very careful and attentive when cutting the stripes. Let's go to the sewing machine. Have a close look here. To stitch the bias stripes correctly, you should join the edges this way. Pin them and stitch. I remind you that we are making a bias binding. The width of the seam is 5 mm. Be very attentive, please. The detail should be stitched either on the lengthwise or the crosswise grain, not on the bias. This is very important. Next, we need to press the seam open, and then we'll show you what to do next. Cut the corners from the seam before pressing the seam open. It should be done for it to be thin and neat. Cut all the extra pieces from the seam. It should be very tight. Please be very careful and attentive. Do not stretch the fabric. Do not forget to cut the extra pieces from the seam after ironing it. Do it right away. As I've already said, there are several ways to make a bias tape. For example, you can use a special bias tape maker. It's very convenient. Feed one end of the stripe into the white end of the bias tape maker. Have a look here. The edges are folded to the center. Press the tape and continue moving to device.
Make sure that you don't stretch the fabric. That's it. The bias binding is ready. If you don't have such device, you can use a needle. First, you need to define the width of the bias tape. In our case, it's 1.5 cm. And the width of the stripe is 30 cm. I need to mark 1.5 cm on the ironing board and pierce the mark with the needle this way. Pass the folded stripe through the hole and pull it. This part is already pressed. What should we do next? Press the edges with your fingers carefully and iron them. This is also a pretty useful technique. Very nice. The third way is the most simple one. Fold the edges of the stripe to the center, pin them and press the tape. This is how it should be done. Now you know three ways for making bias tapes. Choose the one you like better. When the bias binding is ready, you need to fold it in half in a way that the lower part is half a millimeter wider than the upper one. Of course, there is a great variety of the ready-made bias bindings in stores. However, there are situations when you need to make it yourself. It happens when you cannot find a suitable color or texture. Bias binding made of cambric is soft and it's not slippery. It's very convenient and it doesn't take a lot of time to make a bias binding. Make sure that you don't stretch the fabric when pressing it. If you do, you won't be able to attach it to a garment accurately. Let's go to the sewing machine. We'll show you how to edge garments with the bias tape. Have a close look at it. Notice on one side is slightly wider than the other. Wrap the tape over the edge and make a stitch. Do not forget to make back stitches in the beginning and the end of the seams. The width of the seam is 1 mm. This technique is used for edging coats, skirts and other garments. However, it is suitable mostly for thin fabrics. This is a delicate process. Remember that practice makes perfect. I don't recommend you using this technique for edging strong fabrics. Watch the way Natalie is working. You need to be very careful and attentive.
Строчка на 0,1 и с лицевой. Have a look at the seam both around the wrong and from the right sides. The seam is just one millimeter wide. This is the easiest and the most widely used method. The stitch is made one millimeter from the edge of the tape both on the face and on the wrong side. If you work with the stronger fabrics, you can use the following technique. Unfold the tape and join the edges of the fabric and the tape and make the seams strictly on the fold. Do not forget to make back stitches. Be very careful and attentive. Watch the way Natalie is working. The seam should be made right in this fold. This technique is perfect for edge and lace. Lace skirts, for example, or lace coat. It's a bit more complicated than the previous one. Have a close look here. The seam was made exactly on the fold. Next, we need to wrap the tape over the edge. And take it. Be very careful when taking. Make sure that you are taking the tape both from the face and from the wrong side. This is also a pretty complicated technique. Practice makes perfect, don't worry. Due to the fact that the bias binding is already ironed, it's not hard to take it this way. Check if the seam is accurate while taking it. We finished taking the bus binding. Notice that the width of the seam is just one millimeter. Next, we need to stitch it. The width of the seam should be just one millimeter as well. This technique requires more time, but it's useful for edge and thick fabrics. As I've already said, the width of the seam is 1 mm, both on the wrong and on the right sides. Do not forget to remove the taken. When we show you all three ways for edging the details, we'll show you how to iron them. The next technique is slightly different. We need to unfold the tape, join the edges, but we need to make a stitch not on the fold, but a bit closer to the edge, just for about one millimeter further. Be very attentive. Do not stretch the best binding when stitching it. This is the best way for edge and necklines and dumb holes. 
it's useful in cases you don't want the seams to be seen from the right side. Natalie is an amazing tailor. Have a close look here. The seam was made one millimeter further from the fold. Next, we need to wrap the tape over the edge, and we need to tack exactly in the seam on the right side. Be very careful. Have a close look at the bias tape. The seam was made one millimeter further from the fold on the wrong side. In this case, the binding is going to be one millimeter tighter on the right side. It's okay. Do not forget to remove the taken. Have a look at the tagged binding. This is how it should be tagged. Next, we need to stitch it. Stitch from the right side. And get right in the first seam. This is very important. The seam should be placed right under the binding. It shouldn't be seen from the right side. Next, we need to remove the taken. The seam isn't seen from the right side, and this is how it looks like from the wrong side. Let's go to the ironing desk. We need to iron all three mock-ups. The details should be perfect. We showed you the three techniques for edging garments with a bias binding. The first one is good for edging thin fabrics. The second one is harder and is useful for stronger fabrics. And the third technique is perfect for edging necklines and armholes. In this case, the seam is not seen from the right side. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. We hope that you find our lessons useful. We're Ira and Natalie. Buy our courses, subscribe to this channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and the bell buttons. We would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.